Welcome, 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 everybody. It's the Crypto Lark. Today, we're going to be talking about Singularity Net, a project that's recently come off of its very successful ICO. They are creating a decentralized marketplace for artificial intelligence. We're going to be breaking down what that means after a quick shout out to everyone who has been hitting that like button. And of course, everybody who has been subscribing to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you hit that button down below to stay up to date with all of the latest in the crypto space. Furthermore, this is, of course, not professional financial advice. This is just a dude talking about cryptocurrencies on the internet. Let's get into it, guys. Now, Singularity Net had a whitelist demand of $360 million for their $36 million ICO. It sold out in 66 seconds. People were very excited about this project. Now, I actually want to take this a step back first for anybody who doesn't know what the singularity is let me read the uh, wikipedia here for you the hypothesis that the invention of artificial superintelligence will abruptly trigger runaway technological growth resulting in unfathomable changes to human civilization that is pretty exciting stuff unfathomable changes i can fathom quite deeply so i'm, I'm very excited to see what the unfathomable changes to global civilization might be now look, there are a lot of ways which artificial intelligence is already starting to work, but it's very limited at the moment. But this is an interesting article here that talks about eight ways AI is going to change the way you live, work, and play in 2018. AI virtual assistants. That's pretty cool. Of course, there'll be a great savings for people who have virtual, uh, real assistants, they can have an AI assistant instead. Voice-based gadgets will work together. Facial recognition. AI being introduced to businesses. This is going to be big. Two giant tech trends are converging here. Businesses are starting to get in on AI and businesses are starting to get in on blockchain because the implications for that new technology for business is beyond comprehension, to be honest. This will be a very, very big trend moving forward. AI will generate media specific to your personal preferences. You get your own tailored media. We'll write news for you, market reports tailored specifically for you. Great. Tell us about things that you're interested about. Your computer will become empathetic. <laughs> I'm not sure I need this. It's okay, Lark. I know the market's down today, but don't worry. Shut up, computer. Don't talk to me like that, Lark. I'm your friend. Not now, computer. Oh, my goodness. And, of course, your doctor will be using AI moving forward. And that's just in 2018. Doesn't that all sound very exciting? It certainly sounds exciting to me. Now, the promise of AI goes far beyond 2018. And this is a little farther off the deep end of the potential of the singularity. E more frickin' tality, guys. Do you want to live forever? Maybe not forever, but for probably a bit longer would be more interesting. That's for certain. Not to mention all these ideas from utopia to post-scarcity societies actually having peace on Earth, not the constant warfare and power politics that we have playing out on a day-to-day -day basis, environmental sustainability, the end of capitalism, wowzers! Space and time travel. Space travel, guys. Time travel. Go back and hang out with dinosaurs. How exciting is that? Preserving history. The potential for AI moving forward is very, very exciting. Any project which can leverage that excitement to their advantage stands to do very well. Now, currently, there is a lot of work going on for AI. All that stuff's very exciting that we talked about. But we've all seen the Hollywood films. We all realize the potential for a dystopian future. I found this very interesting article over on VentureBeat.com and this guy was basically talking to an AI machine and it started talking about net neutrality with him. He said, okay, well that's interesting. Well, let's talk with a little bit more. And it started taking a very one-sided position. And that comes back to the point that right now, the people putting the most money 
in the development of artificial intelligence are giant tech companies. And they are the ones programming the AI at the moment. This is highly problematic for all the reasons you can possibly imagine. Now, the good news is there are people out there trying to find solutions to these problems. The reality is that even though those giant tech companies get a lot of press and are able to put a lot of money into it, there is a gigantic amount of development going on by small developers, small teams all around the world developing AI, but they don't have a way to connect it all together. They don't have a place where they can exchange that tech, where people can come and use that tech. Remember, businesses are going to be getting big into the use of AI. They're going to want the solutions that AI can offer them. Bring in SingularityNet. They are creating a decentralized marketplace for artificial intelligence. We're looking at cognitive synergy between artificial intelligences, so different AIs talking to each other, working together, solving problems together. A decentralized artificial intelligent mind which can access intelligence for you. So say you want to ask your AI a question, well it can find the answer to that question. And let's imagine that you are the unique getter of that question. You found the answer first, we well, can maybe monetize that, and your AI can do that automatically using the marketplace, which is very interesting. Now this is really allows for a complex web of communication between these different AI. It allows for big tasks, but it also allows for micro tasks. So basically we can see all these different little things coming together where we can have a hub of open artificial tech working in coordination with each other. The goal of SingularityNet is to promote projects which are useful to mankind, which is very interesting. Now, let's talk a little bit about the token here real quick. The token is going to be used for governance. It's also going to be used as the transactional currency within the ecosystem. It's also going to be used for the beneficial reward reserve. So essentially, projects that represent good or benefit to humanity will be rewarded. Now this goes into a whole new realm of AI ethics, which is a murky gray area at the moment without a doubt, but it is an area that is developing certainly quickly. And so agents that produce these goods will be pushed by incentives in a positive way. So that's very, very interesting. Now, there are a lot of use cases for this. We can think, of course, personal assistance, as mentioned earlier. We can think about tutors, AI friends, AI girlfriends. You guys saw Blade Runner 2049. That's the kind of stuff that they're talking about here. That is the future and is coming our way. AI personal trainers, interesting. AI content creators, in 10 years, you may not be listening to someone like me, you might be listening to a robot, which will probably be much better at doing research, much better at finding the little nuances of answers. I'll be put out of a job by a computer, guys. Better get myself hodling that Bitcoin, holy cow. Now, a little more about the project itself. Now, this is aiming to be an interoperable project. They're using something called Gravity so that this can be a multi-chain project. They're thinking past Ethereum. They've looked at NEM, NEM as a future um, proof of stake method. So they've looked at their proof of importance and they said, we like that. We're going to modify it slightly for our proof of stake method in the future, though. That's not coming out immediately. Obviously, privacy of data is a very important thing for them. Scalability. If you can imagine a situation where there's hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of different computers communicating with each other, different artificial intelligences on a small scale communicating with each other, making basically robot-to-robot -robot or AI-to-AI mind 
financial transactions, even in a small way, the selling back and forth of data, ordering your milk or tickets, something like this, it's going to be big. Now, the majority of the agents, the guys at Singularity Net think, will actually be living in the cloud. So they'll be out there somewhere. However, they also do envisage a future where they'll actually be physical agents. Now, the guys behind Singularity Net developed what's called Sophia. She is an AI robot, so she's a physical robot. Uh, a company that they're working with, Hanson Robotics, have also developed real physical robots with AI minds. So there will be that physical implementation. So obviously, that might grow a lot in the future as we start to see AI robots used for dangerous jobs that people don't want to do, right on to all kinds of crazy implementations. Again, you guys have seen all the sci-fi movies. Now, they're trying to make this to be a feeless network, but there will be rewards for network contributions. So again, that goes back to our beneficial reward reserve where those who provide good, provide good for the network will be rewarded in turn. Now, this will be a non-profit organization. It will be decentralized, but during the start of the project, there will be a cooperative setup as a caretaker for it until a fully decentralized governance model can be put into play. So there will be a transition to full decentralized government via the token holders in the future. Okay, now, if we have a look here at the roadmap, this is a long-term roadmap. We're gonna see a beta in July. But moving on from there, we're actually gonna, not going to see version 1.0 until the end of 2018. So please do keep that in mind. If you start looking a bit farther down the roadmap, we do find really a, a plan moving quite a few years into the future as they start to think about different ideas behind infrastructure and how we can bring in those micro transactions that we were talking about. So things like smart homes, the internet of things, talking about integration with IOTA, for example, to really move that forward where you have these different computer minds talking to each other, making these microtransactions, making decisions on their own without the assistance or interference of humans. Very exciting stuff, of course. Now, the team over at Singularity Net. Again, this is the team behind Sophia here, which is the chief humanoid over at Singularity Net. They've got a lot of business advisors, solid blockchain team, solid AI team. If you want to know more about the team's history, I would suggest you come over here and have a look, but it is a big team, 50 plus AI developers, 10 plus PhDs. A lot of people are working on this project and they've been able to get some very interesting partnerships. Nexus partners with Singularity Net Oh, yes, yes, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Now that I heard about this news and I thought, you know, I've been meaning to talk about Singularity Net anyway. Now is the perfect time. This is super exciting news. Obviously, if Nexus pulls off what they want to pull off, they will be a blockchain infrastructure to be reckoned with, without a doubt. Partnering with Singularity Net is a very forward-thinking move. Nexus doesn't make a lot of partnerships, but they partner with good ones. And I think this is uh, proof of concept here that Singularity Net can really deliver something very interesting to the marketplace. Now, Singularity Net's also got quite a few other partnerships around the AI space. So they're working with Ocean Protocol. As mentioned earlier, they are working with Hanson Robotics, which is a very close partner of them. They have presented at the World Economic Forum the other day. There is something called the AI Congress coming up here. Now, the AI Congress, that seems like a nice event for them to go to, doesn't it? Oh, they're going to be the headline event partner. What? Obviously, again, a lot of people are interested in what Singularity Net has to offer now. Let's just think for a minute about some of the potential drawbacks here of Singularity. Now, trying to trying to keep it trying to keep it fair here, guys. Now, they're not the only blockchain project cooperating or moving around 
in the blockchain space. We do have some others that have come on. Probably one of the most prominent ones currently would be Deep Brain Chain. Again, you could look and say, well, that's competition. They're doing slightly different things, but I would say most importantly, there is a lot of space here for different projects to move forward together without having to take that zero sums mentality. One thing too, they are the first mover in the space trying to set up that AI marketplace, but it's also very early in the game. Now look, artificial intelligence is without a doubt taking off. That being said, we're still sitting on the runway in the queue behind 10 other planes. So we've got a ways before we're actually, you know, living that AI fantasy of the future until we actually reach the singularity, so to speak. So are they too early to the game? Well, certainly it's highly advantageous to be here now. I think right now is a time when there is massive interest in the potential for AI and for blockchain and they are coming together in that space. What about competition from the big guys? Now we mentioned Google, well, we didn't mention Google specifically earlier, but we talked about big tech players. And so what's to stop Google from tomorrow coming out and saying, hey, you know what? We adopt a blockchain, we're making an artificial intelligence marketplace and we're gonna crush this little guy. Well, it would be a centralized service I would imagine, I'd be surprised if Google would come out with a decentralized service that they wouldn't have control over and wouldn't be able to necessarily monetize. Now, I'm not saying Google's the devil or anything, but the future will be that scary dystopia if the decisions are made based on what is going to make the most money for big corporations at the end of the day. We need decentralized projects. We need projects that have good governance models. We need projects that are transparent. Blockchain delivers that for us. Something else you gotta think about, what about the adoption of the platform? Will people actually use it? Will it be marketed in a way that people will actually start signing on, that companies will start signing on, that small developers will start signing on? We shall see. Like we said, demand is rising, so hopefully. And of course, the fluid of the marketplace will be the AGI token. We know how much crypto can fluctuate. Will people be willing to get paid in AGI tokens? Will that be an attractive option for people moving forward? Will we see come some kind of price stability or at least forward momentum? All things to think about. Now, if you're interested in the project and missed out on the ICO and you did want to get involved in it currently is trading at 95 cents. We have seen it hit much higher than that. Just shortly after it came onto the market, we saw it up around $1.80. Now it's steadied off and sp spent kind of the last week, like a lot of projects, kind of chilling. Now this is significantly higher than the ICO price, but that being said, still a relatively low price considering what it is they're offering to deliver. Now we don't know the circulating supply yet. We know the total supply will be 1 billion tokens, but we are waiting on that circulating supply to determine what the market cap might be at the time of recording this video, of course. Now, if you do want to go and get yourself some, KuCoin is the best place to do it. If you feel like fighting through Ether Delta, you can also grab it over there too. But KuCoin is where most of the trading is currently happening for SingularityNet. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about singularity net the singularity the future of tech down below in the comment section or join us over on the telegram group and we can chat about it there too long live the blockchain and peace out till next time